stand up. But can't really tell the difference, can you? I'm sorry, Mary Kate. Go, go, catch your legs. Whoop. All right. Sorry. <laughs> All right, guys. Today is our day for video. Okay? So, remember, we're allowed to be awful. I know. <laughs> Get your heart out, Tiger. Okay. We're allowed to be awful until what? Like, anyway. Day in the teens, We covered this in our first video. Go back and watch it. That's right. Yeah. Subscribe. Comment. Um, all right. Linda's got... The thing for tonight. Yesterday we had a big Disney day. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. We're still really tired. Yeah. <laughs> awesome day though. Really had fun. So. Okay. I'm going to start off by telling a story. It's only going to take a few minutes and then um, we'll segue into our, our main focus for today. Um, a long time ago, when I was 19. Okay, not that long ago. Just a few years. Remember it like it was yesterday. I had a friend who came in to visit me at work. And she shared with me an experience that she had. She had broken her foot. Now, I know there's like a ton of bones in your feet. There's more than anywhere else in your body. And she went to the doctor, got a set and a cast. She said for the next few weeks while she was waiting to go back to the doctor, it really, really hurt. And she thought to herself, well, I just broke part of my foot, so of course it's going to hurt. When she went back to the doctor and they removed the cast, she said the arch of her foot just flopped over unnaturally. Like it was, you know, something she never, story. yeah, something she never seen. Oh, listen, all yeah. of you listen. Okay. All right, everybody listen. It's a great story. She said, as soon as that happened, the casters removed. The doctor's face turned white, and he walked out of the room. She found out that the bones were reset incorrectly, and her foot was cast that way, and she had developed gangrene in the area. They told her that there was 90 something percent chance that she would have to have her foot amputated. There's a small chance that if she underwent physical therapy, her foot could be saved, but it would be extremely painful, more painful than the last few weeks. And because it would probably fail anyway, it wasn't even worth a try. And she said she, right in that moment, right as they were talking, her, decided in her mind that she did not want to lose her foot. And so she coined a phrase for herself um, in thinking about going through the therapy and focusing on her end goal, which was to keep her foot and not have to have it amputated. And the phrase was, don't count your empties. And this phrase stuck with me and throughout my whole life and the depth of what it actually means. I know people say the glass is half full or half empty, but there's a difference when you count your empties, when you count and look at all the things you don't have. She said, I couldn't think about I'm going to lose my foot no matter how hard I work. She said, I couldn't even let that thought enter my mind. I couldn't count my empties. And it's something we actually use with our children all the time to help them to learn gratitude. I don't when, know if it's working. <laughs> fingers crossed. No, but if one of our kids say, you know, I don't, I don't have this toy, or I don't have this, or I didn't do so well, we immediately tell them, hey, don't count your empties. And it's now they're to the point because they're getting older. We're like, okay, what should we be doing? And they're like, oh, roll their <laughs> eyes. Don't count your empties. Good. <laughs> so at least we know they're remembering it or memorizing it or, you know, throwing it back at us when they don't want to hear it anymore. <laughs> but it's been really good when I go through a day, when any of us do, and we think about the things we didn't do right or we don't have or, oh my gosh, I didn't do that well in my job or I didn't make any sales today with regards to marketing or anything of that anything. nature. Anything. Anything. You just say, don't count your empties. Don't focus on what it is you don't have. You could say, oh... We don't, have, we don't have a house yet, or we don't have our college degree yet. And it's it's interesting, it's one of those times I've never seen people joke around about your college degree coming with a map to the unemployment office. <laughs> it's a joke now, it's not something we could have ever imagined, but it goes along with that, that mindset. Don't count your empties, don't look at what you don't have. Try and focus on what you do have and think about what you can get if you work hard enough, but don't ever look at all these things and counting them one by one of what you don't have because it diverts your focus, it changes the energy inside of you to be less positive and it's counter counterproductive. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's all a mind game, people. Uh, That's what it is. No, no, not like that. Okay. <laughs> not like it's a mind game. But seriously, it's it's your focus. Your focus determines your reality. Thank you, Qui-Gon. <laughs> That's who said it, okay? Star Wars is wisdom. Yeah. 
seriously. <laughs> no, your focus does determine your reality. And obviously, we can, human beings are remarkable creatures. We can overcome amazing obstacles. But it's all what we think about, and it's all what we focus on. So Our thoughts have energy. Absolutely. And um, what do they say? The, the energy levels of a positive thought outweigh the energy levels of a negative thought. I don't know the science of all that, but what I do know, <laughs> what I do know, bottom line, I'm happier when I'm not counting my empties. I'm more productive when I'm not counting my empties. I, you know, I mean, you can be in a horrible, horrible situation, and as long as you're focusing on everything that's positive, everything that's that that you're given, being grateful, being thankful, then things start to happen, things start to flow. When you're negative, it all comes crashing down. And it's an endless spiral. It's a negative feedback loop. So, great thought, Linda. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. And again, like the video, comment, you know, all that. Thank you. Have a good night.